Hey, hey guys, it's Bryce here. I'm going to be doing a Clash Royale video here. I'm planning on opening all these chests up just to show you guys what I'll get from it. This deck's been working out pretty well for me. If you don't have the Ice Golem, I'd recommend using a Valkyrie instead. Otherwise, it's a good step. It's a good strategy. If you don't have the Ice Spirit, use a lower Elixir one like Skeletons or goblins or something to slow them down uh today we're gonna be opening up the chest and i'm gonna start up here with the free chest i've yet to get any legendaries or anything too good not getting too much out of them crown chest not very much still Couple, giant skeleton the only thing i get that's good out of the crown chest minion horn ice spirit Minions and furnace not really good out of a gold chest and mess getting a lot of gold out of this but not very much good cards arrows that's a good one I use ice golem a lot in this deck and it is very powerful shocked by all the coins I'm getting out of this a lot of Common cards, very little rare cards. Got minions, bomber. Won't get anything good out of this chest either. Like I said, I have yet to get any very good. I have yet to get any good cards right now in a in the tournament in a classic tournament. I'm four for one. Not doing so hot there. Let's go out and do a battle here. Now, my most common push is an Ice Golem. Ice Golem push off to the right side or the left. I like to do split archers in the back. I'll drop that up there for that. I'll put down an Ice Spirit right here just for a little bit of side traction. The Baby Dragon will get taken out with very little damage done. Now I have my main push right here ready to go. So if he wants to put down another strong card, I'll throw down that. If you think that you can counter his push without losing your tower. But I'm not too positive that I can counter that witch, so I will drop archers over there. And like I said, he did drop a freeze there, so that will be big. Oh, that's a big reason and a good thing that I countered. He'll put down his baby dragon. I will put down both of them. I got my zap ready, so if he doesn't want to counter it, I'll put down an Ice Spirit over here. That Bomber's going to be a pain, but it will work down damage more than on his side tower than it did, than both of his pushes did on my main, I mean on my side tower. So technically we got the lead right now. That Bomber's going to get shot down over there. Archer should be able to go up and get a couple hits unless he puts something down to sidetrack it. But I have my push again. I will drop both of these. Now, I do know he's high on Elixir. So, I was going to wait a little bit longer. And that was a well-placed free spell. I'll drop that there. I'll zap that. So, that way, do damage to both the tower and the witch. He gave me a crying face. I gave him a smiley face with the thumbs up. Now this is very difficult to counter with this deck. I like to do that at first, but if he wants to push on the other side now that I put that down, it's optional on how you want to do it. Now that giant I don't have to worry very much about because of the fact that I can just drop an ice spirit with archers to take it out. And if that witch does take out my Inferno Tower, I have another one ready. Just because that barrack right there looks like I won't even have to worry about it. I'm going to come in with my own push just in case. I have that. Looks like he still won't even get that down. I should be able to grab his tower off this also. There's his tower. Our tower's still up, standing strong, and that's the game.
Not very much. I got another silver chest. So I'll start that up right now. It's an easy one star. It's a good strategy. I like this strategy. Another strategy that's just like it is this. Just I don't like it as much because personally I don't like the goblin barrel. I'll use it in tournaments and stuff. But I like this one because of the infernal tower for defense. You also got your mega minion and archers for defense. You can, if you're at the beginning of a game and you want to do it, do ice golem, hog, pre fireball, and then send in an ice spirit after your ice golem is dead. And then throw down a zap, because more than likely, once your ice golem is dead, they will put down a Skarmy or some small troop, easy to get, take out. Because when it when it's taking out and it got that, it blows up like it's death damage. It gives 53 off, which is very helpful because it's my Skarmy. I don't even. Um, it has. It doesn't say on here. But it's it takes half damage down on him, which is very big and will hurt a lot. I'm gonna come in here and finish up this tournament for you. We'll see how far we can go. I've yet to make it to 12 wins, and I didn't change my bait. I didn't change change it. So, well, I guess I can use this. This is probably what a lot of people do. I'll throw it on that push to start off just to see what he's all got. Now that, I w this would be a good time to have my Inferno Tower because that would wreck the, that would wreck the giant bomb. But that's why you got Skarmy. Skarmy should be able to take it out, no problem. He'll even put down his own, but it won't get a hit off the tower because I have... Ice Spirits, which will take him out, and maybe go get some hits off the tower. Another very good push with this deck is to do Ice Golem, Hog Rider, Goblin Barrel, which is a decently good push. Now, he had a well, he thought very well there about doing a mirror on his. On his cards there, which was well played by him, but I shouldn't have thrown down that goblin barrel because I would have done way more damage. So now I'll have to throw that down on him. That minion won't even get a hit off. Shouldn't get a hit. Oh, it will get one hit off the tower. So right now we're in the. We got the lead on this. We just got to play defense and cycle through our arrows and cycle through our golem. I mean, our ice golem. I keep wanting to call it a golem when it's not even a golem. Drop all that there. I'll drop archers up top just in case. The, uh, like I thought was going to happen, that scar me to get through. That bomb will take out a lot of my troops. I don't even think any of his bombs from his giant bomb. From his giant skeleton, have even hit the tower off yet, or got a hit? That was really bad placement of my archers there and my arrows. So it's gonna take one more push, or I'm gonna have to cycle through my arrows twice in order to get it here. Now I'm gonna arrows all this stuff instead of the. Yep, I figured you'd put them down now. But I will drop this up here to lure out. Now I'm going to drop this again, and then I'm going to put down my Skarmy. Then I'll put down my Ice Spirits again, and now I'm back to my arrow, so I got it for the next push. But it doesn't look like I'm going to take a victory here. I had to tower down to 126, all because of that last push. Well played by him. There's two losses. Now we only got one more. We are versus a guy, a level 8 guy now, so a little bit lower cards. I forgot to change my deck again, so hopefully we don't lose again. That'd be kind of bad, but hopefully we don't lose here. Now, I have found out a very good strategy with this. I have the archer tower take out his shield. 
and then you drop your fire spirits to take it out. No, this was probably this the that archer. Oh crap! He's got a Sparky. I don't have a zap, so that's gonna be hard to control. I think I'm just gonna have to use my knight to take it out. My knight to take a shot. Then I'll drop my Skarmy on top of it. Sidetracked all of that. Looks like they're still gonna get a hit. That's gonna take out the tower. And he's got a graveyard on top of all this mess. This is not gonna be good. I'm pretty sure we just lost. That's game already. I'm gonna throw down arrows just to take out the Sparky. That's we lose. It's unless we clutch up here with the push that's gonna take it out. Which I don't really think is gonna happen right now because of the fact that he's just wrecking us so hard right now. And that queen level three yikes, that thing's just wrecking or a scar me when normally I could get a scar me to take it out. There comes in his Sparky that will close it off with us being done here. I'm not suspecting anything good from the chest. Haven't been for a while now. Because I'm not going to get any luck until I'm level 10. Because level 10 is when you start where you can actually get legendaries to pop up in the, ch in the chat let's do a two verse two challenge here and we'll do a two verse two hour two verse two challenge here shortly be ready for a video on that here i'm gonna switch over to this just so we can go back into here and do a couple more battles i'm hoping on getting my crown chest here looks like we got Spectator, and we're against Daniel, who is another level 8, who we just went against and kind of got wrecked. Now, my thinking on this is that you want to save your Inferno Tower, and, like, you want to hide it until you absolutely need it, like in this case, because I'll just pull it over with that, and that will sidetrack it long enough where he'll even be low on Elixir. I'll do an Ice Golem Hog Rider. I got my zap ready, but it looks like he's just going to place on Inferno Tower and a P.E.K.K.A. So I will zap the P.E.K.K.A. so I can take out the Inferno Tower. Oh, I'm going to have to throw down an Ice Spirit just to get, take it out without it getting a hit off the tower. So we're still tied here with no damage done to any of the towers. Now I think I'm going to have to put down my... Fireball zap combo to take out the witch, or I could do fireball archers, which is actually going to be smarter. But it looks like I'll put that down, so I'll go like that, and then I'll pull over with this. So I'll take out that. I'll zap that. Hog Rider won't get very many hits off. See, now a lot of people like to just span their troops down the line. It's not a very good strategy. You can do it, <clears throat> but it's not the greatest. Oh, my voice is going out. Ugh. Looks like I got lower. I got his tower lower now. Because he was truly low on Alexa. I could do this, but it'd be a waste. I'll throw a fireball there, followed by a zap just to make sure I take out both of them. Mega minion on top of the miner. I'll do a couple hits off. Now my plan here is to take out that inferno tower. Because now I'm ready for my push, which is astronomical on how well. But now that my tower's down, I'm low on Elixir. I was well played by him. Unless I clutch up and nope, that tower's down. Oh, 16. 
I hold it, it's game. Oh, never mind. It's gonna be close. I'll zap it right before his miner gets there. That was well played and good game by him. Uh, I think I'll call the video there. Don't I hear? I was well played. Now that deck, I want to see that deck from the one I got three card really bad on. That he even had a Pekka and didn't use it. He didn't even use his Lava Hound. That's that's why you know. See now, that deck I would trade the uh, arrows for the Zap in, and I'd, I'm probably gonna ch actually. You know what? I'm gonna change that up right now. Let's go over to that deck. I'm gonna put the Zap in for the arrows, and we're gonna try this out here. Zap in for the arrows. Now for the knight. I'm going to put in an Inferno Tower. Actually, it's the exact same deck as this one, just without an Ice Spirit and with Goblin Barrel. So let's see if that's a little bit of a better combo here. Looks like I'm finally getting back into my Frozen Peak. I'll drop that, obviously, just to see what I'm going to do. I will counter it with the same amount, so it's a fair Lexer trade. I'll drop both of his. Now, my archers should be able to take it out. They will take it out, but they won't get any hits off on the tower. So I will come in with this push here. Throw Goblin Arrow down because they obviously aren't going to counter it. I'll zap the witch. Now, instead, I screwed this up, but there's Skarmy also instead of a fireball. So I'll put down my Skarmy right in front. I don't care if the witch takes it out because my archers will take out the witch. I'll put down my fire spirits in the back here just to make sure that Something gets a hit off on that tower, or at least it weakens the tower. Now, I have a plan here. Let's see what he's going to do. I'm going to put down that. I'm going to load my goblin barrel over here, and it ends up working just right. So now, as they're coming over the bridge, I'll just zap that. Took out the tower there. And I still got a tower lead. Got a hit off on the main tower. I'll drop my fire spirits back here. Which do astronomical damage to Goblin Barrel. And Skarmy does decently to archers. Because they are close together. But if they're far apart. I wouldn't recommend putting that down. Honestly I'd let archers hit off. Get hits off on my tower. I thought I just screwed that up. Now that they've already popped, I'll drop that. And now I'll drop that there. I'll zap all that. I'm going to throw that down. I could care less about that goblin barrel because my inferno tower is there to help. I'll drop another gob inferno tower just for a little bit more help. Now he's got that coming in. It's almost a guaranteed W. Because that golem will not get to the tower. He'll even pre-arrows. But that golem's just going to get melted by my inferno tower. I'll throw it on these in the back here. No, oh, it's going to be close. And he just barely clutches out there. That was well played right there. Smart thinking. Very smart. But see now, I don't need to counter his push because I already have his main tower down so low that I'm just going to come in with Ice Golem Archers, Fire Spirits, and I'll zap all that. I'll throw down a Scar Me. Archers, everybody got a hit off on that tower. Down to 700. I'll drop my Archers to deal with, their, with, to deal with his Archers. 
and I'll just come back in with the same exact push, putting down my ice spirits. Now I'm pretty sure he'll put down his Skarmy here. There's the game. Good game to him. I was well played when he took that tower, but his mistake was I was pushing right in, and the golem was not helping at all. That will be all for today. This deck works also. This is good, a good deck also. Stay tuned for more. I will not be recording on weekends here. I'll be recording on weekdays a lot. Unless I'm busy or something. But stay tuned. I should have a Clash of Clans video coming out Monday. Tomorrow, more than likely, I might get a video out for Minecraft, but not for sure here. That's all for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like, bu like button and subscribe. See you later. Have a good rest of your day.